hustle. But move the hustle back. What if I told you a new BL anime just released in secret and you just haven't heard about it? Well, I would be lying, but Netflix about a month ago did just drop all 10 episodes of Oku the Inner Chambers, an anime adaptation of the acclaimed Jose manga written by well-known and loved BL mangaka Fumi Yoshinaga. Now, Oku is great. 10 out of 10, I recommend. It's dramatic, it's investing, it's juicy. It also has boys kissing and doing other things. And I can't say the same about skate. And the first episode in particular, the really long first episode, is a homo-romantic Boston cream pie donut without the donut and especially without the Boston. So allow me to convince you to watch Oku because Netflix did like zero promo for it and I'm always here to do the extra work for the people. However, if accessing Oku is an issue, maybe you need today's sponsor, Atlas VPN. Atlas VPN helps protect you while browsing the internet by hiding your IP address and blocking malicious ads and malware, giving you an overall more secure internet usage experience. It also allows you to do fun things like access content not available in your country due to licensing restrictions on streaming services you're already paying for, like Netflix. And just in time for summer, grab Atlas VPN's summer deal of $1.83 a month plus three months extra and a 30-day money-back guarantee when you click my link in the description and sign up today. So just a brief synopsis of Oku. Spoilers ahead. <coughs> in a post-Sengoku Basra world lies Edo Ikemen. <laughs> <laughs> in a post in Goku Basara world lies Edo Ikemen, the fictional version of the Edo period in Japan where a disease called karma killed off 80% of men because honestly it's for the best, leading to a shift in society where women become the dominant gender by a whole lot and thus take on all the roles men once occupied from general labor to government. Meanwhile, the remaining men become treated like the objects they are and are relegated to only being of use for their dicks, particularly to create children, the need for seed, no Gundam. Gundam. <laughs> <laughs> the leader of the country now being a woman means her harem of concubines now becomes entirely men because heterosexuality, but we forgive it! Because 3,000 hot, ripe, ready-to-be-milked men are at the shogun's disposal with the explicit purpose of serving her both outside and in. The building of where these 3,000 hot men are locked away to become fertilizer is known as the Oku, and with thousands of hot young men locked away together with only one woman, they should they have should had gangbang! There's bound to be some boy-on-boy -boy bedding. It's only math. The hour and 20 minute long first episode of Oku begins with a story of a man with the voice of Gilgamesh shaving his head yet still looking smoking as he joins the Oku to provide for his family, gradually rising the ranks as he avoids the approaches of other men and eventually initiating some of his own. Before he wins the Bacheloretto, which surprise motherfucker means he has to die. Except he doesn't because semantics all thanks to the newest Shogun, a woman of impeccable taste with no time to waste who goes on to be known as the Quickie Shogun aka the Shotgun. Not only because of her approach to segs being Freaking but because she is the queen of budget cuts, having the economic sense to see that the country is in a recession, and the potent sluts that fill the castle's corridors would be better utilized posting on Bach Page back in their hometown. This, of course, being back when Bach Page was still online. Back in the 1700s, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so she cuts them off for the sake of the birth rate and the women of Japan's dating pool, later wifing the hottest toy in the chest, as she should. And then for the last nine episodes, we follow a completely separate story, telling the history of the Oku filled with a monk succumbing to segs to save his friends, the brief history of an evil gay shogun, the evil gay shogun's daughter falling in love with the aforementioned former monk, this one woman at the root of all the fuckery looking real fucking terrible for 65, a weak snatching samurai, impotency, Stockholm syndrome, hot bald men, consensual infidelity, shade, Gen Unintentionally comedically placed closed captions, nipples, a kitty, and Yuki Kaji playing what he plays best, a bottom. With a voice cast where I don't know who besides Yuma Uchida wasn't hired and wrapped up in the message that hurt people fucking hurt people and everyone is hurt and hurting. And speaking of hurt people fucking hurt people, literally my only complaint is that the sex is never shown, neither the het nor the homo. Fade to black everything which I do not understand. This is a Netflix production. Netflix, home of Sensei, 365 days. Oscuro deseo. Elite. Devil Man Cry Baby. Q Force. I, I miss Q Force. I mean, at least for the monk scene, you can supplement by watching Soryo Tamajiwaru Shiki Yoku no Yoru ni, but you, but you shouldn't have, have to. to. But besides that, Oku is great. You should watch. It's a Jose manga adaptation. Those are rare. And if you liked Utakoi, this is more in depth than that, although Utakoi is a lot sexier in retrospect. The nine episode main story is also an incredibly interesting gender reversal of the brutish, hardened male character archetype matched with the delicate, effeminate female character archetype. For sure recommend if you're a fan of shoujo romance or show 
row, as I like to call it. And I know I led this expedition with boys kissing, but it's the characterization behind and the character models doing the kissing that makes it all the more investing. If boys kissing were enough, I would have watched Sasamiya by now instead of being a hater for fun. And boy, is it fun. Of course, I have to give credit where credit is due because I probably would have overlooked Oku altogether, probably wouldn't have even known it existed if it weren't for Mama Loves Manga here on YouTube championing the series for so long, so shout out to her. Hopefully Oku gets a second season because its first season just felt like a setup, so Netflix, if you're listening, make the SN season two stand for sex. Yeah. Have you watched Oku? Have you read Oku? Who from the cast is your groom of the bedchamber? For me, it's like I said, the shotgun has impeccable taste. And friendly reminder about Atlas VPN's summer deal, $1.83 a month plus three extra months with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Are you tired of Rapid Gator telling you to wait two hours between downloads? Sign up for Atlas VPN Premium at the link in the description or at the top of the pinned comment and sign some petitions while you're there. Shout out to my newest patrons, Jackie Daytona, Crazy Barney, Queen21, Rainbow Sundere, Too Much Desu, Johnny, Zoe, Adian, Kay Jones, and Dixie Normus. And if you become a patron, you can see my full playthrough of the Goro route of Scoutmaster Season. Or if you don't mind waiting, my playthrough of Dream Daddy will begin in August as well. That's everything. All right, my Evangelion video should finally be coming first week of August. Bye!